some leftover Halloween candy here. Okay. This is my EEPC and we had to reload Windows XP on my son's computer in the library. Um, looked like it had a virus so we reloaded Windows XP and we're downloading uh, virus protection now. And this is the uh, PC. We have the case open. Pretty old uh, computer. It has um, it has the um, 120 megabyte ATI graphics card. Um, it has a 100 gigabyte hard drive. It's a Pentium 4. 2.2 gigahertz processor uh, it's made by um, matrix VPR and it's a pretty old computer but it runs pretty good uh, I say it's about almost what almost five years old maybe maybe older than that I'm about to uh, clean it out I'm gonna take some air air can and blow some hold on I'm gonna bet I should clean it up a little bit. Yep, I got the case back on there. The lid is kind of bent, so I couldn't get it on all the way. Um, as you can see, it's still virus scanning. Uh, the name brand again is a VPR Matrix. Uh, Originally bought this computer with a uh, 64 megabyte uh, graphics card, and I upgraded it to a 128 meg uh, megabyte graphics card um, a few years after I bought it. Uh, when I bought it, it was brand new. I bought it at Best Buy. It was uh, the case, the uh, CPU by itself was uh, 1300, 1400 dollars, and I think I bought. That monitor right there, 19 inch Samsung SyncMaster 955DF. Um, I bought that for I think like $300. And I tell you what, this monitor is going strong to this day. I am really impressed with this monitor. Um, Samsung, they do make the one of the best uh, computer monitors in the world. And I have to hand it to VPR Matrix. Uh, I don't know if they still make computers today or not. I think they still do, but um, I haven't seen any new ones around lately. But this one here has uh, lasted a long time. Uh, aside from catching a few viruses and we ha having to reload Windows a couple of times, and um, because of that, I've lost a lot of data, stored pictures, and things like that. But that's my fault. I should have backed the uh, data up. But other than that, the hardware itself is going strong. Um, so I'm really impressed with it. Got the little thing here. The EEPC, this is my wife's. Uh, I left mine 
the black one at home uh, at work and um, playing around with it while that's loading I mean uh, scanning I'm watching YouTube uh, videos in here and um, that's uh pretty much it that's a Saturday night at the Kim's family here um, here's a uh, Warhammer figures that I work on I paint these are actually these are towels and they're my son's uh, figures he hasn't finished painting these uh, this is actually my little army here uh, these are land raiders uh, I uh, do Templars these are black Templars uh, that's hard to see through the glass and those are Tau um, he's got we got a bunch more but they're in cases carrying cases and this is the uh, the Glock Ninja library <laughs> so, uh, books are over there on the bookshelves and uh, nice printer scanner um, works pretty good no complaints HP 750 it's alright it's not too bad all right. See you guys later. Um, and then there's PAE, which is actually designed to take 32-bit systems to see more than four gigs. That's the purpose of it. See more than four gigs. So you have those two have nothing to do with each other. And why I was to see basically four gigs. Okay, so. We have established that it was Tennessee and produce RAM. It, 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 there's also uh, different types of uh, memory extensions, physical memory extensions within uh, RISC architecture in AMD. It's not just. Uh, uh, and, um, you're not going to have to this The misinformation is saying, oh, you're going to be giving you. Fine, you can say for four gigs. Um, you, 